Okay, and Brevin Hamlin <clears throat> from Utah Tech. And hi there, everybody. Welcome to the Paul Peterson Coaches Show, Utah Tech Football, coming off a uh, tough game on uh, Saturday night in Fort Collins, Colorado, losing to Colorado State. But Coach Peterson, you guys had it to a one-point game just a couple of minutes left in the third quarter. You had them on the run for a yeah. minute. You know, I was, I was, I was uh, definitely proud of our guys. I think they played hard, and, and it, was a, it was a fun environment. It was loud, a bunch of lightning, and... <laughs> I'm sure we'll talk about that, but um, I, was, I was proud of the way our guys stepped up. Our whole goal was just to get better, and I think we did that game. Yeah, you had two lightning delays and basically two half times, kind of messed up the rhythm a little bit. Let's uh, let's uh, get started right in the first quarter. Yeah, watch they, the plays. They, uh, they got up 7-0, uh, but on your first drive, you guys put a good drive together off the first play, 26-yard yeah. run. Yeah, our, our run game was uh, was clicking a little bit. I think that was the, be the, the best we've done this, up to this point this season, and it opened up the pass game as well. Made it a little bit more comfortable. We got a little little draw right there and uh, a little scooting, um, getting upfield, putting us in good position. You know, when we got we got manageable down distances, staying on schedule, it makes it easier for our quarterback. Top sure. yards too, Ronnie. Yeah, he was knocking people over. Well, yeah, dude, he's he's a big, thick dude. You can see bio on that pull right there. He'll be on in a minute. Yeah. That was a really good pull, and he's got some diamonds in his teeth. You got to what, <laughs> you got to inside the twenty through a pick, and yeah. then uh, you got down yeah, fourteen nothing, shoot. and here you go, your defense. You know, 10 takeaways in the last three games. Yeah, which is fantastic. You know, forced him out of the pocket, and he, he made an errant throw, and we, we were able to take advantage of that. This is a really good, this is a really good uh, fourth down run after the, after the turnover. You know, we wanted to be aggressive, um, and, and um, you know, our guys, like I said, up front, we're doing a really good job in the run game. We're able to pop that, which is awesome. And more running. Yeah, we, we like it. Another good run. You can see the, the pull coming up there, and, and our, you know, Chris feels bad about himself getting hawked by the defensive end. <laughs> He yeah. was a really, really good football player, but um, there's Bio again on the pole. Yeah, um, Chris Street, 10 carries, 78 yards. Walker, Jr., 20 carries, 93 yards. Yeah, and we just realized you go get those guys' touches, yeah. we got to take advantage got of Got a field goal out of that, cut 14-3, then Cyrus going to work. Yeah, Cyrus just has a relentless motor. You know, gave him a sack fumble here. He comes from the backside. Okeke on the other side actually did a really good job of flushing that quarterback, making him get out of the pocket and giving more time for Cyrus. And you take advantage. The first play on offense after that fumble recovery. Tee here you up. go. Yep, got Bo Sparks doing his job. Kobe, we got great protection, stepping up in the pocket and rips the seam right here, taking care of the safety, and, and Bo Sparks uh, not playing like a true freshman. Good All right, that cut the lead to 14-10, to 10, and then... Lightning. What Lightning <laughs> delay. And you had to go in the locker room for 30 minutes. Yeah, you know, we want to be safe. You know, we don't want anybody getting their, their head hit. You know? Yeah, so you go, <laughs> you go in 30 minutes. What do you do? What do you do in that 30 minutes while you're just waiting? Yeah, well, shoot. We got, uh, we got Chris, uh, uh, who's our director of football operations, went and got some sandwiches for us. And we were, we were, uh, we were eating some granola bars. And, um, you know, just, just uh, it was actually good to kind of reset and talk about some things. Um, we went in there three times, right? Halftime right. and then two lightning delays. Yeah. So it was good for our guys to reset, and, and we were feeling probably good because we were hanging with these guys. So, so after that uh, first lightning delay, it lasted 46 minutes. You come back out. After the delay, Colorado State got the ball. They went right down the field, got in the end zone. And let's go to your first drive after the delay. Uh, you started going to that quick slant to uh, Ricky Johnson. Yeah, Ricky. Ricky played very, very well. Um, you know, he's he's, you know, Kobe again putting in the right spot for him. But um, Ricky's just been really solid for us uh, all season. But you saw something there, obviously. Oh well, yeah, yeah. You know, we're doing a little run pass option, and and we're gonna take advantage of of uh, what they're giving us. And you know, and then here's the run. You know, so we got a run pass option on the other side. We like the run. We'll give it. And then another uh, slant to Ricky. He had eight catches for 69 yards. Yeah, Kept Rick, him honest for your run game. Sure, and Ricky's our, uh, our go-to guy, man. And uh, he's smart and knows where to find the windows, and that was one of them right there. And then you capped off the drive with this. Yeah, Bo does a really good job. It's a good ball by Kobe, good timing route. On the outside, the receiver does his job with the slant, and Bo got his foot down with his right foot with the touchdown. Two touchdowns for the freshman. All right, that cut the lead to 21-17, to then under two minutes left in the first half. The second lightning delay, yep. another 20 minutes, and you both went to the locker room. Then you had, you had about a 15-minute delay there, came back out, finished uh, the last minute and a half, yeah. and then you went back in 
for a 20 minute halftime. Yeah. You know, it was all part of the plan. They, you know, we, they wanted to have some weird situation where we play that 115 left in the, in the half and then stay out there and have no halftime. Well, I thought every time we go out, there's less fans and there's less advantage for them. So by the time that third one happened, there's about a third of the yeah. fans. Okay, so, so you come out of the yep. sec out of halftime and the opening drive of the third quarter in the second half, you guys really went to the running game again and you kind yep. of uh, you know dominated that drive and it was it was let's see there you go right there and it starts off with Chris Street on the ground again. Yeah, you know, I, I think, again, having a really balanced attack, good job by Chris jumping over that defender. I mean, you know, I'd like to, he's got some really good wiggle. I'd like to see him not jump and, <laughs> and, and uh, try to get, get some more yards with his wiggle. But a uh, really good job, again, with, with, uh, with Ricky here. We do, do a little outside fade to him. I mean, he makes a tremendous one-handed catch. So basically anything in his vicinity uh, was able to come down with. So setting up, setting up a good field goal here, I believe. Yeah, Connor Brooksby, a 52-yard field goal. He missed two last week, so this is good to see him. Uh, get yeah, back really into the rhythm again. Yeah, I think uh, I think a fun little stat here. Where this was the longest in the in Canvas Stadium history. Yeah, yeah. okay, about Finish six years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, right, that cut the lead to twenty-one twenty. Uh, yeah, it was a game right here, and then you got the ball back here later in the third, down one. Yeah, really good, really good interception right here. You know, we weren't able to capitalize on this. I think we got to a fourth and one, and. We were backed up, knowing what I know now, maybe be a little aggressive. The guys were calling for it, and I should trust them a little bit better. I just didn't think, you know, our defense was playing well. So 20, 21, 20, and you're backed up on about the – we're on the 29-yard line. We need to get to the 30. And I was like, ugh, yeah. maybe let's punt. We're playing well. We're getting turnovers. And, um, you know, looking back on it, maybe we would have been a little bit more aggressive. Those guys, you got to trust those guys a little more. But Yeah, and good, they had good field position. They, yeah. And they, they scored, uh, what, 20 points in the uh, – yeah, 20 points in the, yeah, in the end of the third and the fourth. So yeah. uh, you're right there, though. So you, you're going into this game, and I asked you, I said, what do you want to accomplish here against the FBS team? And you said you want to get better. Yeah. Did you accomplish that? I think so. I think, I think some of those little details that we, you know, we had four penalties, um, and, and they doubled ours. Um, you know, four for 45, 45 yards is pretty good. We won the turnover margin. Third downs were fantastic, over 40% and under 30% on defense, which hadn't been like that case. You know, we gave up some big plays. They made more big plays in the stretch there in the fourth quarter that we didn't, and we didn't match it, and that was the difference in the game. Um, but I felt like, again, they fought. They got better. They're realizing playing, playing good team football together, and that's, that was the goal. Kobe Tracy finished the game 21 of 33, a couple of touchdowns. Uh, didn't get over 200 yards. Were, were you happy with his playing decision-making? Yeah, I, I, I thought so. There was a couple throws I think we would like to have back. You know, we, 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 we chart all of our shots, and I think – um, we didn't get enough uh, enough of those uh, yeah. completed, and I think there was a there was a fourth down and four, knowing where we needed to get to, and we throw it out of bounds. Yeah. Just a couple little details like that that we're going to get fixed. Um, but yeah, we need to get some more run after the catch and. Thirty-five launch. rushing uh, rushes for 187 yards. That's a good output. You'd take that every. Yeah, oh, yeah, and, that, and that's pretty balanced. What he threw 33 times, right? And, yep. I, and we had some run pass options there, so we, so we could throw that too. And so I, I like that. That's that's really good. It means we're 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 clicking on offense. And Cyrus Webster, he was a stud again. Eleven tackles, three and a half of those tackles for losses. Yeah, and 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 sack and sack fumble. I mean, he he just he, he does not. There's no stopping that guy. And he's big, been a great leader for us, and we continue for him to keep progressing for sure. All right, we're going to take a break here on the Paul Peterson Coaches Show. When we come back, a couple of players will join us: Bio Kaniki and Revan Hamlin. <laughs> Kaniki. Kanike. 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 Bling, bling. You know, just don't call him late for dinner, right? <laughs> so, anyway, they're going to join us when we come back. Uh, it's the Paul Peterson Coaches Show right now. He's on the
It's incomplete! It's incomplete! It's incomplete! Trailblazers win it! Trailblazers win it! No. Yeah, that was last year, Stephen F. Austin in Nacogdoches, Texas. A little over the top there. Well, you know what? I was excited for you guys. Goal line stand, uh, last play of the game. To, they were uh, ranked 19th in the country, and you beat them. They had a big home winning streak, too. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun for our guys, man. All yes, right, sir. so let's welcome in a couple of players uh, by Okanike. Yes, sir. Yes, Offensive sir. Offensive lineman, yes, Brevin yes, Hamlin. Freshman uh, safety. So, Bio, just talk about that moment right there. What did that mean to you guys go in to Nacogdoches, just beat those guys ranked 19th in the country on a goal line stand like that? Oh, it was very exciting. It was very exciting. We wasn't, we was going into the game, you know, it was like, okay, we can win, but are we going to win? And then once it was like fourth quarter, it was like, okay, we got this. We yeah. couldn't win this game. Yeah. And then it was up to the defense to lock it in. And, and Stephen, F. In. Stephen F. Austin's coming into town uh, Saturday night, seven o'clock uh, kickoff, six o'clock pregame right here on Trailblazer Sports Vision. Uh, Brevin, um, you had a big game against Colorado State, eight tackles, one uh, tackle for loss. So you got a little momentum, feeling pretty good about you guys uh, and the way you guys played for at least three quarters anyway, right? Yeah, it was good. We, they came out a little different than we thought, but we adjusted well and yeah. played well. Yeah, they came out empty. They ran like 20 plays yeah, empty. Yeah, without running. The they didn't run until the second quarter. They had a couple, couple uh, yeah. running backs hurt, so that was a little different. Yeah. We made some good adjustments. Yeah. They so, got a good job. So, Brevin, uh, talk about your play and about the confidence of the defense now as you start uh, conference play this Saturday night. I feel like confidence is if it's not there, you're not going to play well. Like, if you're second-guessing yourself, you're not going to make the right reads, not going to know who to guard. And Yeah. Confidence is earned. You, know, you got to earn it. Yeah. As we see, uh, watch some of your uh, highlights, uh, Brevin. Uh, you're a freshman. Um, how are you fitting in defensively? Uh, you had some guys leave and you know some other guys come in. Yeah, it's been a great opportunity. Um, I well, feel this, like this is bio. So let's let's go. <laughs> yeah, to bio we'll go to bio. <laughs> bio, you see you there on the top, number seventy-one. Uh, you were moving people out of the way. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was a physical game. Oh, that's a game. good pull. See, look at that, dude. He's back on game. his defender. Now he just needs to dump them and let them know. Yes, sir. <laughs> As we look at this, step, and, and you're controlling the line of scrimmage there, was that an emphasis, uh, and, and did you guys take that uh, uh, personally, that you needed to get going so your running game could get going? Yes, I took it personally because I haven't got to pull all, all year due to our scheme, so it was been my tackle pulling, so it was yeah. my chance this week to pull. So I just had something to prove in my pulling game. 187 yards rushing, you'll mm -hmm. take that, right? Yes, that, sir. That's, that's good against an FBS team. Yes, sir. Okay, now let's take some look, uh, look at some of uh, Brevin's highlights. And he had plenty of them, eight tackles, uh, one tackle for loss, and it seems like you're fitting in. And, and Coach, I don't know, was, was he scheduled to, to be this good this early? We knew he was going to be good. Um, good, good solid tackle right there. Brevin's ran, Brevin played quarterback in high school, too, basketball star. Um, tall, oh. long range. Bio played basketball too. Yeah. Sorry, Bio. I'll yeah, give you that's how I was like, hey, come on, come oh, on. We'll give you that sensitive look. Uh, but, but Brevin um, is getting way more comfortable out there. You know, the game's slowing down for him. He's understanding his assignment. And, um, you know, he's, he's definitely one of our surest tacklers. And so as he starts getting comfortable, we'll give him more time out there. And Brevin, your run defense at the beginning of the year, uh, a little shaky now. It's pretty solidified. So you guys you got to be happy with the way you guys are, are getting uh, acclimated now to stopping the run. Yeah, I feel like getting better every game, every practice. So you just got to keep going and don't take a step backward. Yeah. What, what, what was it like uh, to – Lightning delays for you guys. You're all hyped up, and you have to stop, and a couple of half times basically. What was it like trying to keep your momentum and keep the energy up? I feel like in the locker room, everyone was pumped, hyping each other up. So we came back out there ready to go, and we didn't lose like any motivation. So did you really have somebody, uh, Kirsten, go get your sandwiches? Well, I didn't know if there was going to be another one, yeah. right? Because we had two already. And so I, I don't know where she went, grocery store and got some sandwiches and some, we had some, we had some bars and bananas and stuff like that. So I'm like, if this is going to go longer, we need some food. So did, hook them up. Did you eat much? Oh, I ate fruit snacks. I ate like five, five, <laughs> five packs. I was, yeah, I was Then you chilling. had to go back out and play? <laughs> oh yeah, I was chilling. Uh, they need energy. <laughs> oh yeah. Rod, these guys are big 30 dudes, minutes? Man. Yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah. I was, you I know, so, something. How was that for, for you guys? Because, you know, you, you guys are big dudes and mm -hmm. you, it takes a minute before you get going, doesn't it? Yeah. And, and get warmed back up. You only had like five or six minutes. Oh, we were excited. 
we were excited. That game yeah, was, was so close. Problem. We was, yeah, it was, it was no problem. Yeah. I, t I mentioned, uh, ask him about confidence. What about you guys uh, on the offensive side? Is confidence to play that well and to come back, have sustained drives like you did, and uh, keep, get it to a one point game uh, at the end of the third quarter? What does that do for your confidence and, and your consistency as you get into the conference play this Saturday? Oh, it, it boosts our confidence a lot because uh, we now see that we can run the ball. As a, uh, as a line, as a group together. So now we know what we're good at and we know what we need to work on. So our confidence is more towards working on uh, what we d don't, you know, what we're not confident in. So we're kind of good. Okay. Um, Bio, tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, where you come from, where you grew up, all a little bit about you. Well, I grew up in um, California, Los Angeles. Uh, played basketball my whole life. And then, um, seen a little football everybody seen me I was always the biggest kid playing basketball so they say you should play football but my dad was too scared I was gonna get hurt and then about senior year I decided my dad gave in and then I tried it out and then um, I ended up getting a lucky scholarship to here and now things are well. You think you're, you could have made it as a basketball player too? Were you, no, were you no. Pretty good? no. Hey, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. I don't, I don't know what my coach is talking about. Oh, I definitely. Saw you. Yeah, you see him. He yeah. got terrible. I was, if, I, if I locked in into basketball, okay. I would have definitely. Right. Okay. All right. Give me like two uh, more years, I would have been good. Okay, now, now the, the, the best part of this show, sorry, it's not your analysis of the game. No. Uh, we go yeah. way back to the uh, childhood for Bio Kanike and there you are. Where are you? Look at that. Ooh, look at that handsome boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> look at that. Who are you wearing? You got the hat oh. Oh, 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 yeah. You see the team. Are you flexing? Are you ready to, ready to be punch? Pump, punching or something? Me, I don't even know. I don't, I don't remember that. that, you remember that? Yeah, <laughs> I, I was, I was a goofy kid. Goofy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, fun, you know, what was you it like growing smile, up? Bud. Were you were you always the biggest? Always the biggest. Always the biggest. Always the goofiest. It was always fun. Yeah. And then once I got to like 12 years old, then everything got serious. <laughs> he's uh -huh. not. He's so full blown. He's <laughs> the fun, he's the funniest kid, dude. He still got like a. What do you got? Like a Sesame Street backpack or something? Oh you no, a, Sonic, 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 Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> And he had, he had okay, a yeah. Scooby-Doo yeah. backpack. Scooby-Doo before, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got to keep the child. Well, Bobby Wagner that played for Utah State and the uh, Seahawks. He had ten, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle that he took with him up to Seattle. Yeah. Oh, a little backpack. Backpack, backpack. backpack yeah. yeah. Oh, he had pajamas, underwear, everything. Well, yeah. yeah, if yeah. I could do that, I, I trust me, I would. <laughs> but we, we got to tie it. We got to get him with, was it uh, Ronnie or Chris, Chris Street? Yeah, that Cookie Monster Street and all that. Too, yeah. All right, Revan, uh, talk about where you came from and a little bit about you growing up. Well, I'm from a smaller town in Syracuse, Utah. Kind of, I don't know, grew up on a farm, dairy farm. In my backyard, so you know he's got to be good. He knows how to work, dude. Dairy yeah. farm, yeah. He's up early, man. Yeah. Hey, you think cows are the dumbest animals on the face of the earth, don't you? Sometimes they are. <laughs> they are. Trust me, I grew up on a dairy farm. They are. How anyway, come continue. you're not tough? Oh, uh, you, 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 don't, <laughs> hey, uh, don't get me started. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I'm the youngest in my family of five uh, brothers and sisters, and I had one sister pass away, so in 2014, in an accident. But yeah. yeah. So he's rocking, he's rocking the wristband. Yeah, before. rocking the wristband. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, That's yeah. Cool. Anyone who's had a sibling uh, pass away, we we know what you feel like. So, uh, let's uh, go back in time to your childhood and uh, coach. See these you're baby gonna, you're gonna like this one. Yeah. Oh. You're gonna like the last one. Look you're at that. You're just so cute. Yeah. Our, <laughs> Dude, pinch your cheek. All right, here, 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 here's some. Yeah, look nice. at that. There's yeah. the old farm picture that's, right yeah, there. Yeah, that's that's the dairy farm. What do you got? You got your mucking boots yep. on, huh? Yeah, my but boots. Now. Coach, you like this one? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> where, I know you where's fished. That, where's that at? You that's know? in Idaho. I don't yeah, know what river, Idaho's but that's a big fish. Yeah, it's steelhead. So yeah, they're coming in from the, the steelhead. Ocean. Are you on the snake right? Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Good looking so, fish, buddy. You're or good the salmon river. Too. One of the yeah. two. Yeah. So your smile's okay. The fish. Anyway, yeah. You know what? <laughs> it's a little cold. You know <laughs> that that matches his big fish pictures. Yeah. You know that's probably that's pretty good. So all right, Stephen F. Austin. You know you played. You know, I've had one home game first month yeah. of the season, so Goodness. you get to play at home now. We're so excited to be back. It, that was a that was a really tough first five games to open up. Um, again, again, the whole goal to keep getting better. Every stack them, uh, you know, you can't control certain things, but um, I think we're getting better right as we're getting into our conference play. So six really big games for us, three home, three away, and we're excited about that. Guys, got to feel good to get home and play in front of the home crowd again because yes, it was sir. a great atmosphere when you played here against Montana. Yes, yeah, sir. we stunk though, huh? Oh, yeah. But yeah. we got stuff fixed now. Oh, yeah. We there we go. Good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we got better. Revan Hamlin, 
Bio Kanike. Yes, sir. Have fun uh, at home on uh, Saturday, 7 o'clock kickoff against Stephen F. Austin. First ever United Athletic Conference uh, conference game for you guys. So oh, yes, good luck on sir. that. Thank uh, you. 6 o'clock pregame show right here on the Trailblazer Sports Vision and also on the Fan Sports Radio Network. Guys, thanks. Thank you. Thank See you. you on Saturday night. Woo! You know, we got to do this. We gotta, what are we doing? Yeah. We got to do this. Yeah. Something. Woo! <laughs> there you go. Ow.